dear students, let me present to you the Poisson distribution. This is very, very important distribution. Just like, as you know, the binomial distribution is very well known, hypergeometric. Discrete distributions can there. Poisson distribution is also one of the most important distributions. Um, I will present to you first and foremost the PMF of the distribution. And uh, also, I will present to you the shape of the distribution and the actual real life scenario where we may apply this particular distribution that I will discuss at this moment in time rather briefly and in some detail in another session. All right, let us consider the PMF given by the formula e raised to minus lambda, lambda raised to x over x factorial, where x is equal to 0, 1, 2, and so on, and lambda, the parameter, is greater than 0. And we will also write that p of x is equal to 0 elsewhere. Ab is uh, uh, PMF ke baare mein sab se pehle hum ye dekhna chaate hain ki ye jo main keh rahi hoon ki it's a probability mass function. Kya waqai is it a probability mass function? Uske liye the two properties that have to be fulfilled, let us check them. Aap jaante hain ki for any discrete distribution, um, the probabilities have to be greater than or equal to zero. Probability can never be negative. So, pehle hum ye check karte hain ki P of X given by this formula, is it greater than or equal to zero? To is me note kare ki jo expression hai, wo kya hai? E raised to minus lambda. Or lambda ke baare mein ye keh diya gaya hai ki it is a positive number. To for example, if we have lambda is equal to 2, so e raised to minus 2, that is 1 over e raised to 2. Or e khud kya hota hai? It is, as you know, 2.71828, correct, to 5 decimal places. So 1 over 2.71828 raised to 2, obviously, that is a positive number. Agar aapka lambda koi bhi or number aap le le, positive, e raised to minus lambda will come out as a positive number. Uske saath likha hai lambda raised to x. Or lambda chunke positive hai, to agar x, for example, 1 ke barabar ho, to lambda agar 2 hai, for example, to 2 raised to 1, that is positive. Agar lambda negative hota, first ki jay, ke negative hum allow kar rahe hote, ke negative bhi ho sakta hai. To agar wo minus 2 ke barabar hota, aur x1 rakhte, to we would have got minus 2 raised to 1, and that is minus 2, and then this whole thing would become minus something. So, then the probability can never be negative. To ye jo shart laga di gai hai uske saath, ke lambda is greater than 0, that ensures that lambda raised to x is also uh, not negative. Or iske baad jo niche uh, denominator ke andar hai, x factorial, to x ki possible values humne kya likhi hai? 0, 1, 2, and so on. To agar hum 0 rakhe, 0 factorial is equal to 1. Agar hum 1 rakhe, 1 factorial is also equal to 1. Agar hum 2 rakhe, 2 factorial is 2 and so on. Lehaza ye jo pehli baat hum check karna chaate the, ke is P of X greater than or equal to 0, yani non-negative for every single value of X that has been verified. That is alright. Ab hum dusri jo property hai, 
वो हम चेक करते हैं ऑब्वियसली फॉर एनी डिस्क्रीट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन द सम ऑफ द प्रोबेबिलिटीज हैज टू बी इक्वल टू वन तो यहां पे अगर हम समेशन साइन अटैच करें तो वॉट डू वी गेट वी गेट समेशन पी एक्स पी ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू समेशन लैमडा रेस टू एक्स ई रेस टू माइनस लैमडा ओवर एक्स फैक्टोरियल एंड समेशन साइन हैज विद एट एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो अप टू इंफिनिटी क्योंकि यहां पर जैसा आपने देखा कि ये x की अपर लिमिट कोई नहीं है इट गोज ऑन इनडेफिनेटली दे फॉर इन द समेशन साइन वी हैव एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो अप टू इन्फिनिटी अब ये जो एक्सप्रेशन है माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स इसके अंदर आप नोट करें कि e रेस टू माइनस लैमडा इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट क्योंकि लैमडा को जो भी वैल्यू दे दी जाएगी दैट्स अ कॉन्स्टेंट नंबर and therefore e raised to minus lambda is also a constant to usko hum summation signs mein se bahar nikal lenge and then what do we get we get e raised to minus lambda multiplied by summation x going from 0 to infinity of lambda raised to x over x factorial now i would like to present to you a very important result that has been obtained in mathematics and that is that if we have the series 1 plus m plus m square over 2 factorial plus m cube over 3 factorial plus so on so on then the sum of this infinite series is equal to e raised to m ये एक वेल नोन रिजल्ट है इन मैथमेटिक्स एंड वी आर गोइंग टू अप्लाई दिस वन हेयर ये जो कुछ मैंने अभी कहा उसको अगर हम कॉम्पैक्ट फॉर्म में लिखें तो क्या बनेगा हमने कहा वन प्लस एम प्लस एम स्क्वायर ओवर टू फैक्टोरियल प्लस तो वो जो वन है माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स दैट कैन बी रिटर्न एज एम रेज टू जीरो ओवर जीरो फैक्टोरियल उसके बाद अगली टर्म m जो है दैट कैन बी रिटर्न एज m रेस टू वन ओवर वन फैक्टोरियल और उससे अगली तो हमारे सामने है m रेस टू टू ओवर टू फैक्टोरियल एंड सो ऑन तो अगर कॉम्पैक्ट फॉर्म में लिखना चाहें तो हम क्या लिख सकते हैं समेशन x गोइंग फ्रॉम जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी m रेस टू x ओवर x फैक्टोरियल अब जो कॉम्पैक्ट फॉर्म में जो टर्म आपके सामने आ गई है उसको अपनी जो पहले हम जिस चीज पे काम कर रहे थे उस टर्म के साथ कंपेयर कर लीजिए इज इट नॉट एग्जैक्टली द सेम फॉर्म सिर्फ ये फर्क है कि हमने जो पहले लिखा था उसमें लैमडा लिखा हुआ था और अब जो मैंने आपके सामने रखा है उसमें एम लिखा हुआ है सो so ऑब्वियसली हमारा हमारी जो टर्म है that summation lambda raised to x over x factorial that can be written as e raised to lambda agar m ki jagah lambda uh, likh diya to zahir hai ki uska result e raised to lambda hai now let us consider our equation that we want to prove hum kya prove karna chahte hain that summation p of x yani the sum of the probabilities is equal to 1 to hamara jo expression tha wo tha e raised to minus lambda into something ab wo jo something hai uski jagah pe likha e raised to lambda so add kar lijiye powers ko what do we get e raised to minus lambda plus lambda yani e raised to 0 and that is equal to 1 so therefore this uh, expression that i have presented to you as the probability mass function of the poisson distribution uske bare mein hum satisfy ho gaye hain ke it does fulfill the both the 
properties or the conditions rather of a PMF and therefore there is no problem. कि इतना तो हमें पता लग गया है कि ये वाकई एक probability mass function है. अगली बात यही है कि इसको Poisson distribution कहते हैं. It is after the name of that French uh, mathematician who derived this particular distribution. Iske baad, I would like to uh, make you uh, realize that this is a one parameter distribution. Well, that is obvious. Uska jo expression hai, uske andar sirf ek hi to parameter hai, that is lambda. So it's a single parameter distribution. Jabke um, binomial distribution, which is well known, or jo aap achhi tarah jante hain, uske andar we have two parameters n, small n, the number of trials and small p, the probability of success in any one trial. Yahan pe sirf ek parameter hai, to agla sawal ye paida hota hai, ki ye wala parameter kis cheez ko represent kar raha hai. Without any derivation at this particular point in time, my dear students, I would like to share with you a very, very interesting fact it can be uh, derived and proved that lambda represents the mean as well as the variance of the Poisson distribution. Now you will be surprised that what does this mean? Okay, for example, if lambda is equal to 2, then the probabilities are given by the formula e raised to minus 2, 2 raised to x, over x factorial or is ke andar x ki values hum rakhte jayenge x equal to 0, 1, 2, vagaira. To wo jo distribution aegi, uska agar hum graph bana le, then you will have a graph similar to some extent to the graph that you now have on the screen. To ab agar ek distribution is tarah aapke paas aagai, to zahir hai ke hum interested hai ke uska mean hume pata chale. And also, we are interested in the spread or the standard deviation of the distribution. So, abhi maine aapko bataya ki ye mathematically derived kar liya gaya hai ki lambda represents the mean as well as the variance of the distribution. So, agar lambda 2 hai, to wo jo distribution a gayi hai aur jiska graph bhi aapne bana liya hai, uske darmiyan mein jis jaga 2 likha hua hai, x axis ke upar, that point is the mean of that particular distribution or uska jo standard deviation hai indicating the spread of the distribution that is equal to what? Well, it is obviously the square root of 2. Is liye ke mathematically proven hai ke variance is equal to lambda then the standard deviation is the square root of the variance तो ये देखिए कि कितनी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉपर्टी है कि अगर आप एक पॉइसन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन के साथ डील कर रहे हैं तो लैम्डा दैट वन लोन पैरामीटर ऑफ द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन रिप्रेजेंट्स बोथ द मीन एज वेल एज द वेरिएंस ऑफ द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन आपके साथ मैंने काफी बातें कर ली रिगार्डिंग द पॉइसन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन आई वुड नाउ लाइक टू शेयर विद यू Okay, when do we uh, apply this particular formula? Uh, actually, Poisson distribution arrives in two situations. It appears as the limiting form of the binomial distribution under certain conditions. But that is one way of getting a Poisson distribution, which I am not wanting to discuss right now. Other situation when we apply the Poisson distribution is that real life situation where we are dealing with a Poisson process. And what is meant by a Poisson process? Students, um, whenever a particular event of interest, any particular event that we are interested in, 
that kind of events occur randomly over a time scale, we say that we are dealing with a Poisson process. I'll give you a simple example. Look, there is a very big organization, a central telephone exchange. For example, for the Virtual University of Pakistan, there is a central telephone exchange. वहाँ पे जो टेलीफोन ऑपरेटर काम कर रहे हैं, we don't know when he is going to receive the next call. We, from past experience, know that on the average, um, three calls are received per minute, suppose. But we do not know that in any one particular span of one minute. Exactly how many calls will be received. हो सकता है कि कोई एक मिनट ऐसा भी गुजर जाए कि जिसके दौरान एक भी कॉल ना आए. हो सकता है कि कुछ मिनट इस किस्म के गुजरे कि जिन 60 सेकंड्स के अंदर एक ही कॉल रिसीव हो. ये भी हो सकता है कि दो कॉलें रिसीव हो जाएं, तीन हो जाएं, चार हो जाएं, पांच हो जाएं. Theoretically, there is no end to it. But physically, we might say that five to six more than one minute can be done. Mathematically, the Poisson distribution is unlimited. So this is a brief mention of the scenario where we apply the Poisson distribution. Let me say that we are taking probabilities. What are we taking out of this? The example I gave. Usme, if we are wanting to find the probability that in a particular one minute, uh, even not a single call will be received, whereas on the average, the number of calls received per minute is three, to hum apne isi formula under students, lambda ko three rakhenge, because lambda represents the mean the expected value, uh, that which is happening on the average. Or is ko actually occurrence rate bhi kehte hain. Three calls per minute on the average. So hum apne is formula ke andar, lambda ko three rakhenge. Or probability meinne is baat ki nikal ni thi ke mujhe ek bhi call na aye in one particular minute. To mein x ki value zero rakhoon ki. Because X represents the number of occurrences in that one time unit. This is, my dear students, how we apply the Poisson distribution.